Yeah, hey, Nigel. Um, great effort out there. Just curious, you know, uh, going back to the beginning of the season, you guys did the program and you really learned to rely on each other. It seems like you guys are really like carrying each other literally uh, right now during this time. Um, maybe talk about that tribe mentality and that mentality that you guys bring to the court right now. I mean, it's obvious we, we play better and we, we score the ball better when we, we get assists. Um, lately, I've been we've been talking about, like, man, why have we come up short on games? Why are we not winning winning games when we need to? It's because our assist number as a team hasn't been high enough, I would say. Um, when, when we're, you know, victorious and we beat those great teams and you go look at the, the charts, there's a few things that always add up and it's always consistent. The play hard chart and our assist turnover ratio. When we play well, we have almost about 15 to 20 assists a game. And I think that sets us up for something really well. Uh, when we pass the ball and get assists to each other, it just gets us all going, gets us energy. So that's just something I believe that'd be the key factor to um, our team. I mean, what do we have? I don't, we have 17. I mean, it's pretty darn good. Probably our season high. And so that's something just we need to keep picking up on and keep continuing to do. Some guys, they get on a plane, they only see eight teammates and one coach with them. That could be a rather intimidating, but it seems like you guys maintain kind of a attacking mentality, kind of us against the world. I mean, yeah, well, that's what we would say. I mean, we all are kind of, you know, nervous and thinking like, man, are we going to play this game or are we not? And then, you know, coach said, I mean, hey, we're given the opportunity to play. They told us we're going to go play. So coach told us, I mean, hey, we get on this plane, we're going to play. He said, always oh, says a game of ball. I mean, we go out there, play our heart out. Um, that's just something we've been practicing on. I mean, everybody's, you know, looking at us. Oh, now they only got one coach. I mean, we're on the edge here. I mean, lose one one more coach and we're out with, with it. So, I mean, it's just a blessing that we got to come here and play another game. Um, and it's also a blessing of this league that we get to play everybody twice, one away and one home. So, Good job out there. Thank you. Thank you. Next question for Nigel. Okay, uh, Grant Flanders. Hey, Nigel. Um, just got one question for you. Is you know how important do you think getting a win in conference play, as soon as your next game against TCU, just to you know turn things around this season? I mean, it's very important. Coach said. I mean, we're all playing for something here, playing for a goal, and that's a prize, a Big 12 championship, an NCAA bid. I mean, that's what we're playing for here. Everybody, that's something that everybody wants. Um, it's important that we pick up this next one. I mean, every game, every next game is the most important game of our season. Um, TCU is going to be a, it's definitely a winnable game, but it's definitely going to be another tough one. I mean, this conference is loaded. I would say um, we got a home one, so that should be to our advantage. But we got we to get on the board here uh, with this next game coming up. Thanks, Nigel. I appreciate it. Good game out there. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kellis. Hey, Nigel, uh, just given that you guys did have a 17-point lead, is there anything you wish you'd done differently to protect it a little bit more? Oh, man. I mean, we got to go back and watch film to, to really decide on what, what we could have did better. But, I mean, they're a great team. We knew they were, they were going to make a run. Um, it's always something that we need to work on is just coming out of the halves. I mean, we didn't, we didn't work on the first half thing. Now we kind of flip-flopped it where we used to come out second half and jump on people. Now we come in our first half. It's just we need to put together a full 40-minute game. I mean, they had some tough ones in there towards the end of the game. They made some big shots at the end. But overall, it's just, just really putting together a whole game. And when we do that, I think we're pretty effective. Thanks, man. Thank you. Any other questions for Nigel before I bring Jermaine on? Okay, thank you, Nigel, appreciate it.